Today, I am going to share with you the story of the woman at the well. It's one of the ones I learned first, and I love it. It's worth understanding that before this story takes place, Jesus has been ministering for quite a while, and he's been in Jerusalem, and a lot of people have started to want to follow him. And this has bothered the chief priests, the leaders of the religious elite. So the story begins with Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was baptizing and making more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself didn't baptize them, his disciples did. So he left Judea to return to Galilee. On the way, he had to go through Samaria and eventually he came to the Samaritan village of Zychar, which is near the patch of ground that Jacob gave his son Joseph. Well, Jacob's well is there. And Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat wearily beside the well at about noontime. And soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water. So Jesus said to her, please give me a drink. Now Jesus was alone at the time because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. And the woman was surprised because Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. So she said, you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? And Jesus replied, if you knew who I am and the gift God has for you, you would ask me and I would give you living water. Oh, sir, you have no rope or bucket, the woman replied. And this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water from? Besides, are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us this well? How can you offer us better water than he or his sons or his flocks enjoyed? And Jesus replied, the people who drink this water soon become thirsty again. But the water I give takes away thirst altogether. It becomes a perpetual spring within them, giving them eternal life. Oh, please, sir. The woman responded, you can give me some of that water. Then I'll never get thirsty again and I'll never have to come here to draw water. Go and get your husband, Jesus told her. I, I don't have a husband, the woman replied. You are right, Jesus responded. You don't have a husband, for you have had five husbands, and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now. Sir, the woman replied, you must be a prophet. So, so you tell me, why is it that you Jews insist that Jerusalem is the only true place of worship, while we Samaritans, we say it is here on this mountain where our ancestors worshipped? And Jesus responded, believe me, a time is coming when it will no longer matter whether you worship the Father here or in Jerusalem. You Samaritans know so little about the one you worship, while we Jews know all about him, for salvation comes through the Jews. But a time is coming. It's already here when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. The Father is looking for anyone who will worship him that way. For God is spirit and he must be worshipped in spirit and in truth. And the woman responded, I know that the Messiah will come, the one they call Christ. And, and when he comes, he will explain everything to us. And then Jesus told I am the Messiah. Just then the disciples returned. Now they were shocked to find Jesus talking to a woman, but none of them asked him why he was doing it or what they had been talking about. But the woman, she left her water jar there by the well and she went back into the village and she told everyone she met, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Can this be the Messiah? A 
and they came streaming from the village to meet him. Isn't it amazing? The first, one of the first people that Jesus fully revealed his messiahship to was not only a devalued woman, but a sinner and a half-breed Samaritan. God never looks on the outward appearance. He always looks at the heart. May we be like him also.